What's good, everybody? We are back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Before we hop into the video, I want to go ahead and say huge thank you for you guys to getting me to 400,000 subscribers. I did not imagine that we were going to get there that quickly, and yesterday we got like 2,400 subs, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I can't thank you guys enough, but we actually have a new challenge. So yesterday, Noah tweeted out that he wanted to race me to 500,000. I was like, Noah, that's cute, but also maybe you should pick someone like a little bit more in your league, like Hawk's Nest. And then Hawk's Nest jumped in and was like, hey, when I beat you to 500k, I'm going to send you a cake with this tweet on it. I was like, okay, but when I beat you to 500k, I'm going to send you a shirt with this tweet on it, and you got to wear it in your next 10 videos. And he said, deal. So basically now all we got to do is get 100,000 more subscribers, and boom, 10 videos of Hawk's Nest wearing that shirt, proving that we are the number one community in Call of Duty Mobile. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Apparently, 70% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel, which is just mind-boggling to me because this is the best Call of Duty mobile content you're going to find. You're not going to find it anywhere else. It costs you nothing to sub subscribe, so just hit the subscribe button so we can beat Hawk's Nest to 500k, make him wear this shirt, and he looks like an idiot for 10 videos straight, or at least more than he normally does. So today, we are going to be spectating somebody who has become pretty quickly known as the best sniper in Call of Duty Mobile. That guy is Flacco. So for those of you who don't know, he is kind of a YouTuber, but he only has three videos up. So basically, he posts a video like maybe once a month, but the videos get a buttload of views and has some ridiculous snipes in it. Now, the thing is, there's a little bit of debate uh, between whether Flacco is better than most pro snipers, and it's really difficult to say because his is very highly edited, and even in his description, he says he's not really that good at the game. Obviously, he's just being humble and is a phenomenal sniper, but a lot of debate between whether or not he is up there with Little B and Mine and Aerith and people that are sniping in the professional side of the community. So since I got him on my friends list, I figured might as well go ahead and spectate him, and I think we might actually be able to play with him later as well. So we're going to go ahead and hop into a game and just see what he can do. All right, hopping into a game of TDM over on Crash. So we'll go ahead and get switched over to Flacco. There we go. So as you can see, it is rocking the sniper. I don't think I've ever seen Flacco rock anything besides a sniper. So we're going to see... I, I mean... What you guys are expecting here is sniper gameplay. That's what you're going to get with Flacco 10 times out of 10. I don't even know if he owns a gun in Call of Duty Mobile that is not a sniper because I've never seen him use it. I mean, obviously, he uses a pistol sometimes to, like, follow up on sniper shots. Uh, peek it through. Okay, for a second there, I thought he might have actually gotten a shot through. Ooh, and takes one out of the hawk's nest. <laughs> hawk's nest. Wait, crow's nest. Crow's nest is the name of it. He's another one right there. Holy frick. All right, so he, I think he's hit every shot that we've seen him take so far. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he has hit every, okay, he finally misses one right there, and I think his teammate actually yoinked the follow-up that he attempted, but uh, I think we did see him die over by the airplane or whatever it is that's crashed over there, so we know that it is possible for him to die, and obviously, despite what, oh my god, that was insane! I mean, this is proof that he doesn't just do it in, like, montages and it's not something he does every once. Oh, he does miss one right there. Hits the follow-up pretty smooth, though. He, all right. He's probably at, like, 50% hit percentage, which is by no means, like, a bad percentage. That little segment right there kind of proves that, like, you know, the guy is human. But even pro players will have little segments like that where they do miss a couple like close range snipes just because nobody's perfect uh, but i think this also does prove that there is an element to flacco's game that you don't see in those four or five minute montages and i don't think even his intention is to make people think that he never misses i think that's just what people like draw from watching those montages like oh dude just never miss oh i thought he collided right there I think he probably hit marker the one guy and then killed the other one. He'll probably get an assist in a second right here. Uh, still pushing up. Nobody. Oops. Spots one. Oh, my gosh. 
His long range snipes are definitely better than his close range snipes. Not saying his close range snipes are bad, but his long range crosshair alignment is absolutely insane. And obviously, his playstyle in these types of games is way different from what a pro player's playstyle is going to be in like tournaments and stuff like that. By the way, I am casting the Omen Elite Challenger series this weekend on Madcat. I'll be sure to link my Madcat link down in the description. If you guys want to check that out, but that is where we've been streaming the entirety of that. So we've uploaded some of the games on our stream. Oh, goes for the no scope right there. Goes for the no scope again. <laughs> no scopes are not falling for Flacco today as he doesn't get taken out right there. Uh, woo! Tasty quick scopes. Ooh, misses the follow up right there. Oh, hit marker! Brings out the pistol. Oh, gravity spikes. He survives. He jumped to dodge the gravity spike. Big. Brain plays from Flacco, misses the first one. <laughs> doesn't go for the second one because the guy doesn't actually run through. Did he go up to the top? Oh, he's got a death machine. It's a GG. 41, 29, and probably about to, yup, just gonna run through this lobby. It does seem like, and it makes sense, it does seem like most pro snipers' favorite operator skill is the death machine because it's basically like... A long-range sniper where you don't have to ADS like it functions like a sniper in that it kills extremely quickly and it's all about crosshair alignment you just don't have to scope in order to use it so it makes sense I know that little B uses that one a lot I don't watch minor Aerith all that much so I don't know about them personally um, because most oh, what was that what did I just was that a was that a spectator glitch or a wall bang oh my gosh he's insane He's actually cracked out of his mind. What was that final clip? Okay, so for some reason the spectator function is being like super glitchy right now So it's not letting me get into games in like a normal way and I don't even know what's happening, but we're gonna check out spe Flacco's, I was gonna say Specco's <laughs> We're gonna spectate Flacco's gameplay toward the end of this one. I don't even recognize the people that he's playing with He may very well just be playing with randos because that's just how he rolls pulls out the death machine right there Running through the lobby once again, like I said death machine typically the favorite operator skill of people that love to snipe I like to believe that's part of the reason why I like the death machine so much, but really more than anything It's just because I end up killing myself if I use anything that explodes a lot So that includes the war machine or the sparrow or honestly even the gravity spikes because if you use the gravity spikes close to a vehicle Then it explodes and kills you as well as you holy that double Beautiful and Ryan actually called in a VTOL right now Looks like this one's probably going to be a relatively quick one. Like a go for the wall bank. He said, Rai is yoinking my kills. We can do whatever we possibly can to get another one. Throws out his RCXD. See if we can sneaky sneak up on somebody. And the RCXD does the rest of the work for him. Well, looks like this is going to be a pretty quick commentary. Given that I think they only have about 10 seconds remaining. And Rai taking out. Oh, he even yoinked that kill. He missed the first shot while the guy was trying to shoot out the VTOL. Tries to pull out his pred. And uh, it's a GG. So that was a pretty quick one. I just got invited to this room and Flacco was in here. I was like, you know what? I want to see if I can outsnipe Flacco. So I'm going to be attempting to play with him as long as I can and see if I can ever actually manage to outsnipe him. As you can see, I'm not terribly warmed up right now by the fact that I'm missing all of my snipes. But we'll see if we can manage to get warmed up right here and uh, help our team a bit. Somebody just jumped down right here. Oh, Colat, let's go! Oh, that should have hit. There's going to be a couple people back here. Must out snipe. Flag out. I saw him go around this way. Oh no, I missed my shot! Oh, Flacco swapped to the pistol. Boo! You know what it is, what it is. He doesn't even know this is what I'm doing. He just He's just out here playing rank. He's chilling. <laughs> and Flacco gets a snipe off the start. There we go. I'll take that trade. Flacco gets one. Bobby gets one. 
Somebody from our team died. Oh, another one. Watch out, Flacco. I'm coming for you. All right, we're tied up. 4-4. Four, four. Also, keep in mind we are on EU servers. So Flacco, Sam, and Era, I think, are all EU players. I am the lone NA player, and then we have this one random dude. Oh, my God. Oh, do it to him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I saw a guy down below. Got him. Let's go. We're rolling. No, I choked that. That should have been easy. Oh, body shot. No, major assist. Ooh, tied up. <laughs> come on. Somebody go this way. Somebody come and get her. This dude said, Bobby, not cool. I'm dead. F. Ooh, Air is the only one left. Flacco got sniped. Other dude must be a god tier player. Ooh, Era, do it to him. Oh, he still gotta go get the bomb. I think I had it actually. <laughs> oh, he missed it. Oh, one of their players rage quit. That's a big feels bad. You know what? I'm going aggro sniper on this. No more of this passive nonsense. That dude's right there. Oh no! Oh, my crosshair alignment on that was so bad. Oh, that should have wall banged. Boom! Got him. Only one player left. Hey! We had snipe flag. Oh! All right, first try. Mission accomplished. On EU servers, by the way. They all left. Uh, what? Were are they upset that I top fragged? I am Confucian. Oh, Flacco went offline. Well, that's big sad. Well, I was hoping that the sniper battle was going to last longer, but it looks like that is going to be it for the video. But if you guys want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Not only will you likely get to see another sniper battle in the future, but we also have the chance to beat Hawksness and make him wear a shirt that looks makes him look like an idiot. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I look like an idiot for at least a solid 10 videos straight. So hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like down below and subscribe to the squad if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.